Hey everybody, welcome back to the Post Frame Podcast. In today's episode, we're going to dive deeper into trusses and why we space them the way we do here at FBI. Uh, to help better explain that, I've brought in VP of Operations, Ken Colberth. So if you want to go ahead and uh, just kick us off, man. Well, um, I've re received this question many times, um, and I usually tell people when you're thinking about trust spacing, you really need to think about strength and you need to think about functionality. So if I dive into strength a little bit, um, we choose to do eight foot uncentered as a standard for us. Uh, the reason we do that, I think, with strength is you always want to use the strongest members that you can, and you want to minimize the connections. So uh, it, we feel that if you go eight foot on center, that's a very strong uh, distance for a two by four to span. Uh, we do put our purlins on edge. Uh, we feel that that's a strong angle of a two by four. Um, so when we put those on edge, we screw them to the top of the truss. That's an optimal distance for those to span. Um, when you go eight foot on center, it also allows you to go with heavier trusses. Uh, I've seen four foot on center. I've even seen two foot on center. Many homes are two foot on center, uh, but they use a much smaller truss. So even though two foot on center seems stronger, it's a much weaker truss. Four foot on center is a little bit stronger, and then eight foot on center is, is significantly stronger, but it's got to carry the loads uh, across the roof. So um, strength's important to us. Uh, the other thing is that our columns are eight foot on center. So we're allowed to take the load path from a truss directly down into the column, into the footing. If you were to be four foot on center, you'd have a header across there. So you'd have to take the load from the truss down to the column over on the header, right, to support that. And that header supported by nails and fasteners. Uh, if you can help it, you really don't want to rely on nails and fasteners uh, if, if you can. Um, I think those are the weak point in the system. Uh, so load pass going straight to the concrete where lumber is on lumber is the best way to go. And then you just use your, your fasteners, not so much as load bearing, but more as just holding the system together, uh, side to side. What about like the functionality of it? Yeah, great question. So with the functionality, if, uh, depending on how you do it. So if you do eight foot on center, you're allowed to get a taller truss heel. And what that truss heel does is it allows you to have a longer connection with the column uh, so that you don't need those knee braces. If you've ever seen those angle braces on the truss, you, yeah. you, the functionality of just losing headroom, things like that. So with a bigger truss, you have a reason to go deeper heel and it allows to get rid of those. Uh, another reason for a deeper heel, a 12 inch heel, which is our standard, um, is it allows you for more attic insulation. So an R38 really needs that 12, 13 inches to get uh, the insulation R values that you need in your attic. And if you're going four foot on center with a six inch heel, you're just compressing that insulation at the bottom and you're truly not getting the R values that you think you are. Okay. So if you're saying eight foot is better than four, uh, why, why don't we go any wider than eight? Well, I think you can, if you'd like, uh, again, it comes back to optimizing the strength of the two by fours. You can move your purlins a little bit closer together and get them to span further if you'd like. Uh, so we're really just looking for that sweet spot in price. Uh, what you got to remember is even steel frame builders go 25 foot on center. Okay. Okay. The challenge is you got to balance strength with functionality. So now you're back to a curved truss, integrated truss into the building. So how are you going to finish that? What's, what's all that going to look like, right? As far as framing and, uh, and connection points. Um, and then you really got to even think about insulation values, you know, very, very poor insulation factors with, with steel. Um, and just, I mean, it's going to flow right through to your building and, and we found that it's just not as energy efficient. So you, you really, the spacing, you could go as big as you want. You just have to keep, uh, raising the member size to get to that point. And we've just found again, that it's, it's really about the economical side of finding the, the balance of strength and functionality. We hope this video brought you some clarity on why we space trusses eight foot on center here at FBI. Um, again, there's other builders out there that do it different here at FBI. We do it eight foot on center. Um, want to thank Ken for stopping by and, uh, giving us all this good information. My pleasure. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more post frame content. Thanks for watching, and always remember build with confidence.